Hey, how you doing? Everyone up there, this is Les from Green Traffic Automotive, back again with a short video. Now we're talking about brake and lamp certifications. After you had a car accident, but are still going to be registered, gotta pass through the brake inspection and lamp inspection all your lights headlights low beam high beam turn signals gotta be exactly what the book says if you take your car like this car this person was trying to pass the inspection and fell because of the upgrade somebody did and they lost everything so we don't have no connections for this the customer bought the light poles for the headlights and they don't work because the light poles doesn't fit over here okay so what we need to do is bring in the system and the OEM situation uh, this is a 2003 Acura RSX and we are or we ordered already parts for it this is the part number we're gonna need is an OEM part we just got it from the dealer and it looks like this because your light bulb fits inside here let me get the light bulbs and I show you how it works. Okay, we got already back here. And we have the light bulbs. I don't know if you can see. I'm gonna put it over here. This is the light bulb. So this goes inside this one, and then the connector from the car is gonna be right here, and it's gonna be easier to to do this with two hands but it's fine I just showing you this if you have a car accident right here in green traffic automotive we can fix and do the certification for your brake lamp brake and lamp inspection before you go or after you go register the car the car is already being painted and fixed I don't know where is the scratch or what is the accident exactly but the lights needs to be removed complete plus we gotta put all the lights in the working condition and that way you're gonna be able to pass the lamp inspection and bring all the papers to the DMV to get your registration and your stickers all right so thank you so much for check us up, please thumbs up and subscribe. Have a nice day.